Hello everybody, welcome to the uh, Losers Bracket Final of Blitz Pit 8, which is kind of like the semi-final. I'll put a link to the challenge and everything. Um, I'm Jimmy Fantastic, joining me in the booth is Skurometso, Trific and Rick Reckless. Hello. Hello We're going to be talking over each other all game, but we got four people and we are definitely not socially distanced in this booth. We are here for the last, the finals of the loser's bracket. The winner of this game will crawl their way out of the loser's bracket and right into the grand finals to compete for a 550 US dollar prize in the Blitz Pit, whatever number this is, the seventh or eighth toe uh, tournament. And we have Andy Davo with his high elves. We've got Larkstar with his Camry. These guys have been through it all. All Larkstar's day started at 3 a.m. and has been filled with nothing but Blood Bowl. Given uh, his location in the world, this is going to be a wild one. What do you guys think of these two teams? Yeah, um, I actually really, I really like Davos' build, to be honest. He's like, it's built to around like the worst matchup, isn't it, of Dwarves and that. So he's taken plenty of wrestle. Um, the package, I think, was kind to High Elves. Being able to get like multiple skills, you know, stack the blodge guard, getting two guards, and uh, and then the dodge wrestle on the catcher, the rackle on the catcher, um, the dodge sidestep for the one turn. So I think it is actually a really nice build, and uh, obviously we've seen Larkstar's team before, um, which is I don't know, maybe two tackle mighty blows would have been better than the pommer. I'm, I'm not I'm not struck on the pommer, um, or maybe it's just gone mighty blow and block on the. Thrower, but uh, you know, I think this it's going to be interesting. I like the Palmer, and I think it could be big in this match because if I'm a uh, Lark Star, I'm definitely going for chipping the crap elves first. So that would be my game plan was to try because Andy has no subs, I would just be going for piling on every turn yeah. practically. Looks like he's doing that just now with his first blitz. You're completely wrong. Oh, the Palmer, though. Oh, no, no, sorry, that wasn't the Palmer. Sorry, that wasn't the Palmer. Yeah, completely wrong on that. <laughs> I just saw the mighty blow and assumed it was the Palmer. <laughs> yeah, you would think so because he, you know, hitting that, I guess he wanted to hit that player um, positionally rather than anywhere else. Yeah, so I, I really like seeing high elves here. Uh, I don't think we've seen anyone take high elves before. Um, so yeah, great, great race to see. And I totally agree with Jim. They got a nice package this time. Having two doubles for two guard is absolutely wonderful. Gives them a big advantage over dark elves and wood elves. Um, on the Kemri side of things, uh, I did actually cast a Larkstar match in the group stage. And against some woodies that he played, he used the two guardians really nicely to advance the ball. Uh, he used based cages because it's very, very hard as the elves to get a decent uphill against stand firm tomb guardians and block tomb guardians. Yeah, though of course in this case, uh, Devo's got the wrestle for the tomb guardians, so for the block tomb guardians, so he's at least got, you know, something to hit them with. Uh, but yeah, and the guards. And yeah, he's got the guards as well. Yeah, but like PC it was really rough, wasn't it? Because when he was uphilling the block ones, the ball downs but don't put them down, and when he's uphilling the uh, stand firms, the pushes don't put them back. But when you've got rest, at least you've got an out against the uh, block team guardians. At least. It's up to Larkstar though where he goes and bases the cage to an extent, isn't it? Though, so he, he yeah, he obviously can't afford to do a based cage uh, with a block two guardian up against a wrestle. Um, so yeah, maybe for that reason, Andy will leave the wrestle pieces out front uh, if he's doing elf screens. Yeah, I think he definitely will. Just more protection against the blitz, isn't it? And like, you know, it's gonna really, it's really gonna annoy Larkstar if he gets a a, a pommer wrestled and, or his mighty blow tackler wrestled. So. I think he'll definitely try. Nice and... by Andy. He's just hitting everything here. <laughs> so yeah, beautiful. very aggressive. At least in terms of the uh, I love it. Yeah, and it works. I'm putting two Tomb Guardians on their asses. Uh, gonna help 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 that uh, help those two guards get working. And if he happened to chip one, it would be massive. So yeah, which getting some early hits on is great. Yeah, we saw that in Larkstar's though. last game. Losing yeah, a Tomb so Guardian you... early was really crippling to him. He was able to overcome it, but uh, it definitely didn't make it easy. On yeah. the flip side, they're now going to stand up, and then the Tackle Mighty Blow can come in and hit a guard uh, yeah. Blitzer that you really don't want to see removed, and then the Skeleton gets a hit on the on the other one as well. 
yeah. This is where I, again, you see, you go for the mighty blow hit over the uh, pom. But if he blitzed with a pom, he would have knocked over a defenseless player. <laughs> and maybe you would have pommed him and maybe cast him, so, you know. Yeah, I, I don't mind trying to high roll with the mighty blow tackle on the really good pieces because the what the reward is just so much higher. I really don't know why he didn't pom turn one though. That that was a little bit baffling. Yeah. Um. I kind of like this. I, I feel like Davo, if he with his palmer, could have blitzed through and opened a hole to kind of cut those two other elves off a little bit and get a little bit of pressure in there. But I guess uh, as team as. As uh, Kemri, you just want to stay in front of the ball yeah. pretty much at all times, yeah, especially yeah, in this matchup. Yeah, he wants to stay in front of everybody. Keep 11, keep 11 men between him and the goal. And, uh, you know, the worst thing you can do is over-pursue, I think, as, as Kemri. Yeah. Very deliberate placements yeah. on his um, stand firm Tomb Guardians, isn't it? One in from the sideline, just making the pitch that much smaller for the Elves. Absolutely. Yeah. And hello, Tony. And uh, yes, Mr. Yemen Dem and Adev, this is going to be completely unbiased uh, commentary as always. So, no need for any of that. <laughs> and actually, I'm a big fan of Davos' team, to be honest. His team is, is like team built, I think, is, is the one that impressed me most from the qualifiers. Well, the qualifying I believe, stage. Yeah, I believe you said it was the second best team in the tournament yesterday. Yeah, I probably did. <laughs> Mine, I think it was just PC's team. Yeah, I, I really fancied PC to to do it again. I said from the start that we saw some Camry teams, um, which seemed unusual. But last time we had a lot of dwarf and chorf, and I think that was as a direct response to that. So uh, I think it was always going to be a little bit difficult for the dwarves um, because the Camry teams are, are basically in there to take those out. And then we have actually seen less dwarves and chords, so generally the Camry have struggled, other than Larkstar with his miracle marathon run. <laughs> yeah. So the old double screen here to stop any any vigorous ball basing. I wonder if he'll kind of take the bait and base up a bit. I think I would. You're not really losing a lot of you if you base up here. <laughs> He finally hits the unprotected man like Tri would have been doing all game and does nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that Palmer, that Palmer is, uh, you know, we, we haven't seen a lot of Lark Stars games uh, in our commentary, but uh, did I don't think did a single point of damage there to uh, to PC in his last game. No, it did pile on a couple of times. I mean, it, it's hard, it's yeah. obviously a bit rubbish against yeah. Dwarves, but then you've got a pretty good racial matchup versus Dwarves. Like, I can yeah. see the point of it. I don't think it's terrible or anything. Um, Just frustrating. <laughs> yeah, and, like, you, but I think, you know, the fact that you haven't got, you know, you've got agility too, you haven't got that mobility on them, so I think having two tacklers is fine. Like, I can, I think it's, you know, uh, Ornan on his World Cup uh, human team, he had a Pommer and a Mighty Blow tackler, and I think that kind of makes more sense because you've got Edge 3 and Move 7. But I think when... But even then, I still didn't like that. I would have still gone two Mighty Blow Tacklers just so you got the more coverage of the field. I wasn't that big a fan of Yak's Human Build, to be honest, Calcium. I thought it was good when it was there, but it had the potential to not be there. Like, you know, the, the, the 11 man was a weakness of it, wasn't it? Um, so I thought it was really good when, when he had all 11. Um, but yeah, or even guard stand firm. Like that's a, that's another po possibility as well, isn't it? I'll say one thing: the, the one turn is going to be difficult for Devo in this modern, isn't it? With two two stand firm tomb guardians. And another stun firm, another strength five guard on the line is the one that you're trying to push. Um, it's going to be difficult. <laughs> he doesn't want to commit. Basically impossible. 
Yeah, yeah, basically. I don't know why. Uh, I don't know what Davos' plan is to get through, and I don't know what <laughs> what Longstar's plan is to stop him getting through. It's funny. <laughs> Fascinating. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> I was just saying on my, on my channel for a second there, Jim. I muted myself, so I wasn't talking over you. But if you get desperate, turn seven. Um, you can do a three plus dodge onto the sideline next to one of the stand firm tomb guardians. Put a guard in next to the skeleton, two in. And then you can do a, a two dice blitz through the stand firm and go through in side page. I was doing strong. that with the. Uh, probably with the what it'll uh, eventually come to if this is keeps playing out. Yeah, which is a bit rubbish, isn't it? It's not ideal. It's definitely not your plan A. But yeah, come come turn seven if nothing else has worked. It's basically your your plan Z. <laughs> this time, uh, Larkstar decided to combine both both strats and. Blitz a shitter with tackle mighty blow. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> we'll also see. I, I think increasing uh, basing up from the elves if they're if they're desperate to try and force a, a gap through later in the drive. Yeah, that's the thing. It's devastatingly effective getting based, isn't it, for uh, Camry players? Like, they just can't dodge anywhere near reliably. And, and like you hinted at last game, especially then because they were down one of the two Guardians, but they don't have a lot of block. They've only got four. That's seven players without block. Maybe he tries to. Is he going to push through here? Yeah, it looks like he is. Yeah, he might be. I mean, he's going to get hit. He's going to get hit a lot in this one, in this next turn. And he's really only getting the catcher through, right? Nobody else. Maybe one. Maybe a lineman through as well. Lineman or two to screen. Yeah, he's got two linemen there. That Even get just getting one through means the Kemri have got to peel some players to deal with it, right? And then they're, suddenly their wall of Kemri is significantly weaker. Yeah, like that's why I kind of didn't like just standing off because, oh, wow. <laughs> Interesting. That's why I didn't like the standing off from Larkstar because all these people are free to do stuff now whenever he wants, whereas if he based them all up, they would have had to have been dodging or whatever previous turns. Oh, there's the one. Does he re-roll with only three? Yeah, he does. He's, yeah, he's got three re-rolls, four turns. I think he kind of had to. If I'm Larkstar, I'm not. I'm probably not pulling a bunch of people into this. No. Just ignore it this turn. Commit to it probably next turn or the turn after. Yeah. For also, now, just was... keep the wall up. Yeah. Sorry, if I was Larkstar, I would. Uh, I would have had an extra tackler to deal with this. <laughs> <That's tough laughs> <player>. <laughs> But yeah, it's, it's interesting. I guess he has to just, like, if he scores this turn, he, he's got to stop the stall rather than the score, hasn't he? That's the thing. Like, a yeah. score here is not doesn't bother him. He gets three turns back. So that's, that's all right, isn't it? Um, what worries him is the stall. Looks like he's uh, committing some guys, though. He could be trying to blitz the, uh, blitz the Lino and, like, you know, just, yeah, commit a little bit. The Tomb Guardians can still hold the centre pretty well, can't they, just by themselves? Only 11 men for Davos team, that is the weakness. The weakness of the That's team. That's a good yeah. stun. 11 men, no reroll. And no reroll, no apple. He does have an apple, I don't know why I said no reroll. No he's bench, two, no uh, bench for Andy Corpex. No bench, but he's got the apple. I don't know why I said no reroll instead of no apple when I just looked at the apple and <laughs> said no apple. <laughs> Literally looked at Impossible. You're tired. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I won. No. I mean, if, if you're looking at your blitz and you're not going to palm anyway because you want your guy still on his feet, then it doesn't matter whether you're going with the mighty blow tackle or the palm, does it? Yeah, exactly. Uh, that's why I kind of feel like I don't really like the palm that much because... You don't want to be palming. Yeah, yeah you don't really want to be palming that much. Like, it's it's rare that you want to be palming, I think. Yeah, so now Davo can just flood right through the middle here on a 
Um, yeah. I mean, ideally a knockdown. Yeah, I didn't like that. I, I think I would have left the two. Like, I don't think I don't feel like this Skellington between the Tomb Guardians is doing a whole lot, is he? If he moves up to the midfield, yeah, then you've got a screen with the uh, see this guy that's just moved. He would have been screened if he'd gone behind them, and then everything's screened. like that holds a lot together. I think that Skellington moving. Absolutely. Could have moved his screen slightly to the right and just left the lineman to maybe go past on the left. That's not a big deal at this point. Yeah. Wow, there's the power. This is just very lightly through and safe, isn't it? Yeah. Unless we see a snake. Does he even really need to roll any dice? It's just one person he needs to, uh, yeah, yeah. to get around a bit. The, uh, yeah, the wrestle catcher. dodge catcher. Yep. This catcher can get tackle mighty blow though. All the other wrist or the other catcher could get pommed. <laughs> exactly, yeah, yeah, Dev. I didn't I didn't like what he did at all. <laughs> Which I guess is why Davo just stood there and didn't do anything because he's like, well, this is great. Larkstar isn't defending at all. <laughs> it should. It, it it does need to be pointed out. Larkstar just coming off of an overtime game against Dwarves. This is a yeah. massive change in uh, in mentality and uh, yeah, in how he's point. in how he's going to defend. You know, he Very could good. ignore the ball here and just surf some shitters. <laughs> 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 that might well, be what I would do because yeah, stopping it is impossible. Yeah, attrition yeah, is, a, is a genuine strategy for the camera here, isn't it? No bench for the high elves. It makes their drive so much easier. If you get to overtime, it makes that so much better for you as well. I mean, it's a viable yeah. strategy because they've just conceded the score <laughs> under turn eight stall. <laughs> so yes, it's their only strategy. It would have been my focus of the drive. I would have been palming constantly, and if he scores, he scores. If you really want a ball focus, he's got a four plus, two plus, two plus, one dice. Yeah, and also, no, it, and in, in in fairness uh, to Super G's comment, too, it's one minute turns, and again, one half of these players has been playing a lot of Blood Bowl over the course of two days, let alone in a marathon row just today. Like, yeah. everyone knows it's exhausting, and you're not... You're not necessarily going to make the uh, the best call possible, but that doesn't necessarily change what your overall defensive mentality is. And I yeah. think it's worth uh, commenting on uh, whether you agree or disagree with that philosophy. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, Andy's come through the winners bracket, so he's played an awful lot less blood ball. And also, his day didn't start at 3 a.m. for Blood Bowl. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's so brutal. The more I think about that, the more I just... It's really hard. Awesome. Mark Star. And, and I'm shocked that he was able to go get a win at all today. <laughs> I don't think I could win a game of Blood Bowl at 3 a.m. Yeah. I think I could regularly win a game of Blood Bowl at 3 a.m. Yeah, but that's when you, that's like ninety percent of the time you play. And also, your three a.m. Blood Bowl means you're playing other three a.m. American shitters. <laughs> Actually, no. The Russians are waking up. Oh, that's and true. So is yeah, that's true. Dionysian <laughs> to snipe yeah, them. Bowl. Yeah, my Blood Bowl Ooh. ends right about when the. Oh, look at this. Could be a snake. No, oh. it's not a snake. Still. So nice to roll though. Snipe. Dude, stop eating that bee. Jesus, what are you thinking? <laughs> oh, sorry. I was yelling at my dog. <laughs> He's going to get stung and it's going to be awful. Hang on. Stop, <laughs> stop eating that bee. Oh, Dave was the one that gets to do attrition if he wants. <laughs> no, he doesn't. <laughs> he decides to not serve outrageously. Being exhausted is another argument for just mindlessly palming things. Yeah, it's a good point. <laughs> it really is like... Imagine the state of the game with eight turns of just piling on constantly. 
Yeah, and fouling every turn as well, and said he just did not. Just gonna say, two bench, you can absolutely follow it up. Yeah, with foul, foul as well. well yeah. Oh. Thought for sure I was getting stung by a bee and all that. <laughs> <laughs> the die all power of it. <laughs> it's the spacing hour. <laughs> Ooh! That, that wrestle's interesting, isn't it? That's a 4 2 2 for a 1v with his tackle mighty blow that he cleverly took. I thought oh, he was no. dodging that catcher. Yeah, me too. Is it a 4 2 2? Yeah. Yes. What the? Pencer? I was just I was just mocking him for taking pawn when I said tackle. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> he also could have chained this one. He could have chained. Oh, he could have chained him. Oh, has he made a mistake? I think he's made a mistake. I, I don't see the four two two, but if you chain, you're in range. Yeah, he should have chained him. Oh, oh, he should have chained. Yeah, that was that was a really good spot. Yeah, the chain is just a double GF five for a really nice one D. Yeah. Yeah, that was the play for sure. Oh, that's a, that, he's dropped the ball there, hasn't he, Lara? That would, that would have been real nice. Oof. <laughs> oh, will we see a piling on? The moment we've all been waiting for. <gasps> Pays off! Finally! He could have been doing this for eight turns. <laughs> See? See the power? Yeah. No, I, I, yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's a good uh, shot. This was, the, yeah. this was the game to employ that strategy, yeah. Yeah, as Dev says. Yeah. Like... Even if he'd done this this clever chain in one day, like so what? He just scores on a different elf. <laughs> like, yeah. And now he's going to foul here as well. Maybe he's making other cards. Yeah, I dev. I'm not kidding at all. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Kimry win condition versus elves. Especially oh. with overtime format. <laughs> One Another one. He appos that one, and Apo works out for him. Yep. He will get a mighty blow hit and a pom hit. And then, uh, maybe he's a, he probably shouldn't foul, but uh, I guess he might as well foul, because if he doesn't score, he loses, doesn't he? So I guess he's got a foul here as well. Yeah, I think if you're looking at the fact that you're one nil down after the first half, that's that's enough behind. It's not a disaster, but it's enough behind that taking a fairly reasonable foul is is then the right thing to do. If you're in a really good situation, then you probably take the more conservative route and leave it. Yeah, this would be a good one for Devo to get back here. No dice. Yeah, at the moment, overtime is the best possible scenario for Lifestyle. I didn't really try to stop that touchdown. <laughs> it was a bit weird. I don't know, he didn't go for attrition, he didn't try to stop it. Um, but yeah, it is hard playing one minute, and he has had just like, you know, he's just gone to 24 turns against Dwarves. And he's been up since 3 a.m. playing. It's been, it's been absolutely brutal. I think uh, his plan definitely was to, was to stop it. He just failed. Yeah. Yeah, I just didn't. I didn't. Just didn't see what it was meant to do. You know, like the standing off and not doing anything. Like, why not base up? You've got tomb guardians, haven't you? Like, just <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get him to roll dice as well. So he, maybe the rerolls are gone by then. Yeah. Like, Devo had one one reroll left at the end of the half. Now imagine if he'd been based by Tomb Guardians every turn. Like, maybe he scared him when he made those knockdowns. You yeah, know, the, the ending knockdown. That's what I was just thinking. Maybe he got instant full PTSD. <laughs> yeah. he was like, oh no, I can't, I can't base him again. I got banged on last time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe he wanted to just take out one of the one of the uh, guards first before he did that or something. Like people do think like that, don't they? Like, not PTSD, but you know, like, if something works for you one game, then you might be more help. 
like you might go that route again or if something works against you you might be you know want to stop it happening but I totally agree, but we could absolutely see a big swing for the Camry here, couldn't we? Mighty blow hits coming in. We could. Come here, in fact. It's a pretty funny animation. Oh, oh, oh two out of two! Smiling <laughs> on. <laughs> wow. Couldn't have done that with tackle jump. He couldn't have done. He could have made this a free dice roll, couldn't he? <laughs> <laughs> he could have made that a three dice though. Which Yeah. There's no excuse for not doing. Might be might be waiting for a gang foul though. You gotta make you gotta prioritize the three dice, I think. Yeah, and if you don't three man, maybe you reroll it even if you if you don't do yeah. three dice at least. Yeah. Because it's your last mighty blow hit. It's the yeah. only real big hit that matters. Yeah. Uh, the winner of this goes to the finals, Kilmatronics. This is the finals of the losers bracket. So there's one more game to play for the winner in the grand final. Uh, Andy's currently up, but that attrition's going to add up real quick. Uh, actually, Skuro, this is the semifinal leading to the grand semifinal. Stop. I, I hate you, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is the last thing before the final. This is the last match before the final. The grand final follows this one. And it will be regular. It's the losers it. bracket semi or final. The grand Fuck, semi. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's what I've got in my pants. <laughs> Whenever Skuro's in the commentary booth. <laughs> Sent oh, off again, maybe. but Sent well worth again, it. But yeah, he had to foul. Yeah. yeah, he absolutely had to foul, didn't he? Yeah, because... but that was his bench. Uh, he yeah, hoped you that trade any day. Yeah, you are delighted as Logstar right now with the amount of cash you just got in two turns. Yeah, he's got, he's got to trade the bench because his best case scenario is is overtime. So it does, you know. Who cares? Who cares if you might not have an extra guy for it? You, you've got to make it first. So yeah, all Such of a sudden, now, as well. a 90k piece or a 40k piece on top of all of that as well. <laughs> well done. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. They're trying, they're trying to lure me in, Jim. I know, yeah, don't do it. Resist, Guru, resist. <laughs> no, I'm good. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. <laughs> we resisted for four years, man. Now we get the party for a few days. <laughs> That's the finale of the Lizard versus Lizard tournament. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I need to remake KLZ E and JFW and just, just get him to beat on Gadenic constantly as punishment for making us cast that. <laughs> making us cast that group. Holy shit. Oh dear. Making me cast that group after making me play nothing but lizards in my two qualifying attempts. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Absolutely brutal. <laughs> yeah, it's easy to do, good in it. Just make them like tier two or something, and then there you go. Instant, <laughs> instant all lizard yeah. men. <laughs> Put them on the same tier as high elves. <laughs> and watch every single team be lizard men. We've got a conservative LOS here, haven't we? Yeah, this is exactly, I mean, protect against the Blitz, it's exactly what, he even did this against Dwarves, so he's sure as hell gonna do it against Elves. <laughs> do against the Dwarves. Uh, this is, was Larkstar set up against the Dwarves, wasn't it, on offense? And he got yep. blitzed on, and he did not bother him. One little bit. Going for three from three! Oh, and there it is! <laughs> Oh no! Okay, try. Maybe Pylon's all right. <laughs> try, try can't answer. He is furiously masturbating. <laughs> oh yeah! Listen, I have a, I have a little bit of camera experience, and this is the way. Just, just bang him. 
man. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, Knorr, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, masses and masses of Knorr viewers. Uh, we, we are currently casting, uh, it, and we being Jimmy Fantastic, Skuramezo, uh, Trific and myself, uh, the the semi-finals or the losers bracket final, if you like, of Blitzpit. The winner of this goes on to play Regor's Lizard Teams for Blitzpit 8 title and 550 American dollars cash. Um, it, the Elves successfully did a uh, an eight-turn drive and a one-nil up from the first half, but their Camry have really turned on their their hitting gloves in the last few turns, and you can see the Casbox of the Elves is filling up, so uh, it could go either way. There's the classic one in four fail, though, from the Camry on the pickup. He has covered it quite In quite fairness, well, an Elf would have failed there, right, Jim? An Elf would have failed that, and uh, also a Human Throw would have failed that. No, no, so. I'm I was <laughs> yeah, An Elf wouldn't have failed that. <laughs> yeah, you don't know, the, oh, which one was first? Was the two first? All right, an Elf would yeah, have picked it up, it. but a Human Throw would have failed it. So, and, uh, yeah. An Edge Busted Elf would have failed, which I think is what Jim meant. <laughs> I yeah, I mean, that's fair. That is, a, that is a common <laughs> ball carrier for an elf team. Jeez, <laughs> oh, you always got to take one step too far, Coffee. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Of the Kenry Blitz. Did they blitz that turn? They might not have blitzed that turn. Uh, it's it's sometimes not worth it, is it, positionally? Especially as if it would have had to blitz without block. Not really worth it. So Devil's gone straight for us. Does he reroll here with overtime lo looming? He does. Instant reroll. He does. I, I think I think Devo's plan is to win this in regular time or not at all, the way the Kaz are going. Yes. The thing is, though, if, if you win the coin toss with, like, five of your good elves, you have a really good chance if you've held some rerolls back. I, I don't disagree. I'm just uh, I think that's what we're seeing here. Is more more yeah, my absolutely. point. <laughs> and he does have the ball here if he wants it. I think he. I mean, he does. obviously. I think he wants it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a GFI. It's a GFI. That's yeah. the thing. With three yeah. players not to act. Yeah, he's gonna. He's I gonna think I like the GFI there, and then sacrificing this catcher onto the. Oh no, the tackle, but then no, he can still be hit onto the tackle, can he? No, I'd take that back. My apologies. I don't know if I like this, the the sidestep over on that I left don't, side I there. don't. Yeah, I don't like it either. No, that's given him the easy chain, hasn't it? Well, I guess he had it anyway. Yeah. Um, Couldn't he have dodged that sidestep? Oh, he'd be up against tackle, actually. That wouldn't have been great. No, no, there's multiple ways for him to deal with this. Yeah. Biggest problem is where his thrower is. Yes, yeah, the throw's right in the way, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> the throw's the player you would like to use to uh, make the chain easier, but then I, you can chain. I guess you just you just put the thrower in, and you have you know like you have to commit the reroll because of the situation. The, the pickup's just too important. Yeah, true. Yeah, you've already got a reroll advantage on the elves here. Yeah, putting in the reroll on such a critical turn is is well worth it. I think you could blitz with the thrower actually. I don't hit that. Can as well do that. Um, the knockdown's much less likely, though, so the ball's probably still in a tackle zone. Yeah. You want to do it with the tackle mighty blow guy. Oh yeah, obviously yeah. yeah I wasn't. I wasn't there. <laughs> I, wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't. Don't get crazy, Jimmy. Yeah, I wasn't. Uh, yeah, so he's doing the double GFI. It makes it. That was the problem, the double GFI, wasn't it? It was required. Needs the pal. Got to reroll it. Yep. It's the pal. So, yep. so this was not without its risks. He needed he needed the double GFI and he needed the pal. Made all the dice rolls he needs. Now he just needs the four plus pickup. Maybe he needs to uh, run out of time. Oh, not out of the woods yet. Oh, did he just oh run God. out of time? He ran out of time. Oh. He had four <laughs> seconds to get that to get that uh, that thrower moving. Oof. Oh, that's horrible, wow. isn't it? And it probably <laughs> loses him the game, it to be honest. Yeah, that's really bad. Yeah. It's just yeah. a, a block here, 3-plus pickup, 3-plus yeah. handoff score. 
God. 12 hours yeah, the of Blood Bowl. basically over. <laughs> 12 hours of Blood Bowl. Right from 3 in the uh, air. I mean, you've uh, got to feel for it. Like, this was shaping up to be really good and close. And yeah. now, that's probably, yeah, I'm a bit good. Yeah, I just can't ready. imagine how he had. So I looked. I was like, "Oh, he's gonna run out of time." I was like, "Oh no, he's got four seconds to move that thrower onto the ball and into that cage." I don't know if it skipped. It might have skipped like uh, like Wolfbox. Oh, uh, I hope not. Well, this doesn't help. I no, don't. Uh, yeah, I don't that know why bad. this was the play. Yeah, that was bad. That was literally bad from Dave over there. <laughs> yeah, not, I don't like that at all. Yeah, it's not me being biased or anything, everybody. That was just bad. <laughs> I don't know if it was tilt or what, but that was, that, <laughs> that was just genuinely bad. I don't know why he'd I be tilting like after your, that. Yeah, faster. all of your tilt would just roll away after <laughs> letting yeah. time go out. Well, no, because you can tilt the other way, right? The the one the one game that I lost until I was diced twice in a row with my de with my death roll with dwarves was when I was just totally happy and couldn't play properly because I was too happy. <laughs> so, oh boy. Huge three oh, plus. Well, it. It. Makes, the, makes the dodge out. Here's the handoff, and this could be the ball game. Is he gonna run out of time? Oh no, he doesn't. Yo, oh, he somehow oh, 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 makes it with God. zeros on the clock, <laughs> and I think that is it for Larkstar. What an unfortunate way to give up the second touchdown there. Oh, See if he can pull a miracle out of his bony ass. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, you've always got one chance, um, and that's a blitz, right? So he can score in four or even five turns, preferably four. And then if he does happen to get the blitz against few elves, he's, he's got a really good chance. But yeah, if, if that doesn't happen, or if he doesn't totally wipe the elves out on the way into scoring, then this is game. Well, you've, you've always got the chance, which is the, the disconnect and uh, failure to reconnect. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man, that was star, cool. you're just I going was, uh, to I was losing my probably. chalice game this season quite badly, and my opponent disconnected for like four minutes. The timer went down to about two, and I was starting to get pretty happy, and then he came back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's only seven players. He's just got to, he's just got to score as fast as possible, hasn't he? As fast as his bony little legs will, uh, will allow him to. Get ready to throw some Kimmy passes, get in in two turns. Yeah. Then go for the fast turnover. Alternatively, he could just palm everyone, everyone for the on rest the line. of the game just to make try, try happy. Yeah. Oh, too late. <laughs> maybe he wouldn't. Palming. Maybe he wouldn't have lost the ball there if he had palmed a few more times. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's that, that is a real shame for Lux there, but. Uh, yeah, that, I mean, that right there, that is Blitz Pit. That is part of the challenge of this tournament. It absolutely is, yeah. Absolutely horrific kick for the scoring as fast as possible plan. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? Kemri are, are, are a lock to pick up the ball, though, so. <laughs> he might get the, he might cast the entire team and get an automatic touchdown. Maybe that's his best chance of, of drawing. <laughs> yeah, foul something before you pick up. Yeah, Li just literally go for the pitch clear, advance the turn by two turns and, and win. That's it. That's the way to do it. Can blitz the uh, the Rackle catcher here as well. He doesn't have dodge. He's only armor seven. Oh, oh god! <laughs> oh my god! Try right now is like Pinocchio, except instead of his nose and with lies, it's Kaz and his penis. I'm just seeing this and crying right now at the fact he ran out of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah this would have yeah, been no game over, wouldn't it? Really, if it was one nil. <sighs> This is all going to come down to a pitch clear and he's going to fail a GFI on turn 16. Do you know what? Time. He probably, what, what's more likely is he fails the pick up, ball gets thrown back in and Tavo wins 3-0. <laughs> right into an elf. Right into that catcher in the middle there. 3-0 yeah, with three elves left. <laughs> <laughs> No, he makes the pickup. Yeah, he makes it. 
you can't even do it like a stupid long pass here because it just no, means that the elves will no dance through and score again. Like you literally can't even attempt it. There's no one to catch it. Yeah, there's a skeleton. There. You could throw it to the skele skeleton. Yeah. It's I don't even hate it. It's hard to get all the elves through to make a recovery safe. I, I think you're so desperate as. Uh, I would do it. I would do it. I like um, the pass. Yeah, yeah I'm making right. this pass. Right, and plus, it, it, it gets Andy to roll dice. dice. He's just gonna like run out of time to roll again, dice, maybe he cases himself. <laughs> well, I didn't, I didn't like the pass, to be honest. I'm not sure about re-rolling. Uh, that, that would take a little longer to, to work out, because it was a 6 he re rolled it with pass. Yeah, but it was, a minus, it was only a minus one, wasn't it? Oh, so yeah. So it, it could have been inaccurate. Yeah. I would have been accurate enough, I think. Yeah, that's what I think I'm taking. Let Andy accurate. roll, dodges through, maybe Kaz himself. You have to get super lucky. <laughs> yeah. Some play to get super lucky. Yeah, precisely. Right. Well, you can't hit the, uh, you can't get a tackle. He can't get a pom hit on a on a non dodge guy, so he probably just wants to tackle one of them, doesn't he? Another cast. <laughs> Never lucky. <laughs> okay, step a few guys in. Step on him. Yeah. So I think we're seeing another pass. Threat. I think you need the Pummer up as the scoring threat, don't you? Get him 6 forward this turn. Him in a spot that pins the Wrestle Tackles dodge into being bad. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a nice spot for him, isn't it? It's doing something and sneakily getting him into scoring range. <laughs> Doesn't go the last square. Come on, man. I would have gone. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six. Left be himself a, a GFI. Yeah, he left himself a GFI. Yeah, he should have gone that one extra square. Genuinely should have done. I wasn't. I wasn't meaning. <laughs> Makes the pass this time. Oh. Not the catch. He uses a few roll. Gets the catch. Ball's advancing. Glorious. <laughs> it's happening, it folks. It's <laughs> all happening. Is Problem is, he's got to expose him to get now him to foul the, that Now foul around. the guard. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Why didn't you do the extra GFI? <laughs> and that was—I didn't even like the extra GFI. He was better where he was because he had the guard next to him and stuff. I thought he was in a safe spot. Still, it's still on for the Palmer. Could the Palmer save this game in two different capacities: yeah. killing half the team <laughs> and scoring the touchdown? Yeah. His back is going to be sore tonight after all this carrying. <laughs> I'm not justifying the GFI, but maybe he was thinking, "I only need to get pushed back a square, and I can't score on the skeleton." Yeah, it's, I don't know. It's so much easier to hit him one square forward. Oh, he didn't like it. Three straight sixes for Andy. Number <laughs> 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 oh, one. He uses the reroll. Oh boy. Yeah, I don't think I reroll that. That was a little bit. That was a little bit greedy, wasn't it? There's no easy, uh, these are all naked on the left-hand side. Yeah, yeah now he's just got three plus, two plus, wherever he goes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> I mean, he can, he can get, you know, he can clear these two catches off the tackler and he can get the tackle hit in. Uh, but then it's yeah, this, is, this is a fairly straightforward tackle 2D. There's a GFI on the down skeleton, that's about it. Yep. 
Yeah, this is pretty easy 2D, and then it, it, the sidestep, though, is going to make it hard for him to score this turn, isn't it? Needs to, to pow or wrestle down one of the uh, one of the catchers is all. Uh, no, he doesn't, does he? He doesn't. He needs his next catcher to go down though. No, he doesn't. He just needs to. He needs to block the. Uh, he needs to block the uh, first. Yeah. Makes, the oh, got him. <laughs> Makes the wrong decision. Does he? No, yeah, he didn't need him to go down. Yeah, no, he didn't need. He didn't need the power. Never mind me. <laughs> Never mind me, just being dumb. Oh, thanks so much, Master Man. Awesome, mate. I think it's better to GFI with a Tomb Guardian, probably. Yeah. Then you've got a Tomb Guardian in there. Maybe because then the skeleton could also be a recovery. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you go, you go in with the Tomb Guardian, then when you hit him, he's going to sidestep back. So then the, the skeleton could have tried and picked it up. Because if he doesn't sidestep back, or or at least away from you, then you can score, can't you, with that, that blitz round? Yeah, sidestep definitely preventing the score this turn, which is pretty big for the elves. But uh, it is it is possible, isn't it? With all the cars in, turn 14 score for the Camry. This is still a game. Mm. With the skeleton where he was, you hit. You could have hit the sidestep from the right, and he's probably stepping in when he gets downed, like in and up, so you can't score that turn. But then the skeleton down could pick it up and pass it. Yeah. Yeah. With your go. mighty blow tackle in the end zone. Oh, that's in. horrible. Oh, that tackle, doesn't, doesn't get it. him. So unlucky. Could be got him there, though, with the tackle. Yeah. And if he gets a 1 in 8 scatter here, and then the 1 in 3 catch, he can do it. <laughs> oh, so close. Oh, baby. It's on for next turn. That was a big pickup, right? Because no yeah, reroll for next turn either. Yep. It's just the two, the two turn on defense is so hard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Even against not having the third is a like, disaster. <laughs> yeah, he, he needs to pool. take all of his blocks before he scores, if yeah. any even gives him any. <laughs> he probably needs a blitz. He needs a yeah, blitz or yeah. an extra reroll, I think, or both. <laughs> yeah, it was over at two nil. Really cool. I mean, it really was over at two nil. It's such a shame that we run out of time, isn't it? Well, he could get the Blitz, and there is only going to be a um, maximum of two Elves deep. If he can get one more Kaz, there's literally only one Elf that isn't allowed to be on the LOS. <laughs> uh, this is, it's just so hard to score, unfortunately, isn't it, from this yeah. spot? Yeah. Could so turn 15 the score and get a Blitz? We're Three really dice chain there, push. That, that's the next yeah. thing. Yeah. I think he goes for the three dice chain push with the tomb there. Yes. Yeah. It has to fish for the pow, unfortunately. I'm actually tempted to foul the sidestepper if I cas one of the elves with my blitz this turn and actually prevent an elf from being off the LOS on the next drive <laughs> before getting the score. Maybe Rick, just foul him and <laughs> try to high roll that as well, like even before you try to score. Yeah, that's what, yeah, exactly. Oh, I think that was the skeleton he had to move into the that's what chain I thought push too. spot. Yeah, that's what he's doing here. Um, I guess he's going to scatter it. That's the pow for the impossible attrition. Oh, it's the it's the pommer. <laughs> no, he's, he's got a Gets the god there. scatter. Yeah, it's a well, nice he's got scatter. a shot. I think you should try definitely with the go pommer, for this you know? pilot on. Yeah. He's gonna foul end. 
power on? Is that what that is? Or can't, just he can't safe foul move? Sadly now. Um, oh, yeah, he can't. Skeleton, he moved next to the ball. That was the foul piece. I, he probably hasn't thought about it, which is fair. Yeah. Oh, baby. I'm a seven as well. Four out of four, baby. Here we go. Oh, KO. 50% <laughs> no. chance. Bad. <laughs> An even foul with the block guard, Tim Guardian. <laughs> he's off oh, to me. Yes, he's, he's got it. Oh, he's, got it. he's got it. Uh, Dave is going to be sweating a little bit a on this game. Yeah. Not much, but the a little bit. The kickoff event has to probably yeah. be a blitz. Yeah, blitz, riot, reroll, one of those three to even have a prayer of it, I think. Just go everyone on the on the, on the the line, huh? Yeah, just spread them out enough to where you can't tag them all. Yeah. Oh, Davo has double fame. I was just starting to think, ooh, throw rock, pitch invasion with so few elves. But uh, double fame doing a pretty good job of defending against those. Yeah. Four elves. Imagine if you'd removed two more people, then he would have just got, he would have got an auto. No, no, it's no plays, isn't it, to get the auto touchdown? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, none. But just one more, so he doesn't have someone to get the ball right, would have been really big. Yeah, yeah, it would have been yeah. I think, I think the thing that would have helped more, though, is not running out of time that one Yes, turn. yes. Oh, nice. This being 1-1 one, one, <laughs> and overtime versus four elves <laughs> instead of being 2-1 down. Yes, that's, that would have been, that was the big thing. <laughs> this could just be the most Blood Bowl game of Blood Bowl in about eight seconds when this uh, kickoff event happens. It could be. I don't. I don't like the way he set up. He set up. Uh, his, two, um, the blitz is really nullified here, right? Like I guess yeah, the blitz can still go. Put his but... yeah. He put his skeletons. I would have spread them out to where the skeletons more spread. Yeah. Yeah, the blitz yeah, all those really fast guys there. should be in the wides, shouldn't they? Because he can't cover them. Yeah, I think he should have done it differently. And people off the LOS so they could have moved in as well. Definitely fast just, guys in the wide zones. And he's just got, he's just got five swords and shields here, hasn't he? He should have had uh, seven, sorry, he should have had. He should have had a couple of pikemen behind him to react. Focus. <laughs> PI. Oh, oh the pitching go. battle. Oh, oh my god. Rick called it. <laughs> Now Davo's outnumbering him. Well, that's what happens when you have the double fame, I guess. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I, I will, I will, I will count that as calling it as the most Blood Bowl game of Blood Bowl. Uh, uh, David Ever. just wins 3-0. 3-1, 3-1. 3-1, yeah. That's outrageous, isn't it? That is outrageous. Well, GG Larkstar, what what a way to end a uh, eight hour day of Blood Bowl that you started <laughs> practically yesterday. <laughs> yeah, he's still got like a hundred dollars or something, though, hasn't he? So. So, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, he, hey, a hell of a tournament for him, but gonna fall to whatever that was. <laughs> gonna, gonna toss and turn at night thinking about that running out of time. Yeah, yeah I'm, not gonna, of them, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie, Coffee. I think I kind of would have just hit skip turn if I were Devo on that one. Larkstar has won more games than the winner of the tournament would have won when they won. <laughs> Wow. What a heartbreaker. But, I mean, that's Blitz Pit, though, right? It is minute turns, and that is just him not playing well enough, to be honest. Like, although it's a heartbreaker, the running out of time. That's the form. It's the kind of error that you would think about a lot, though. Like, it would really bother you. Oh, yeah. I'm not, yeah, it would bother me. <laughs> Actually, if it was like with Wolf Bark, where. <laughs> There's the riot after he scored the extra touchdown. <laughs> Jesus <Yep>. Christ. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, so if he'd set, set up for the Kemri one turn here. <laughs> <laughs> no, Rick, no. <laughs> Mark Star just skips the turn. They was going to do a yeah, bunch of dodges turn, through David. and score on him again. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that would have been. That would have been abysmal. <laughs> oh, man. What a game, though. What a game. Yeah, incredible. It was a weird one, wasn't it? It was a weird one. Because it was so. Like, there's so much damage from the Camry that it nearly undid that awful mistake, to be honest. Like, it was a mistake, wasn't it? Like, maybe it was. Maybe it was internet or something, but uh, that's awful to miss out on that turn that would have would have secured the draw almost well three times out of four. He could have failed the pickup, and then he still probably loses, doesn't he? But it would have looked amazing from the amount of attrition he did. Um, so there you go. Thank you very much, Skurometso, Trific, Rick Reckless. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.